Hey guys, this is the part 3 of the illustration tutorial from start to finish and today I will make a detailed pencil sketch So, I printed out the digital sketch that I make in the last video and now I use my light box to trace it to new paper I use an A4 size paper which is the final size of the illustration Okay, now we are going to trace this image using a mechanical pencil. I use my Pilot S20. This is a 0.3 millimeter. And I use it to trace just the outline of the image because we don't need the value or the rendering, just the outline. I don't need a detailed outline because it's going to change anyway in that sketch and what I need is mostly the position of the objects and now after I'm done with the layout I'm just drawing what my final image will look like at this stage usually my brain starts overheating because I think about lighting, rendering shapes all that stuff as you can see i erase the rock and make it a lock also at this point i use my reference photos from internet in my computer monitor just some picture of bear butterfly and nature photos I change my bear shape once again, make it a little fat because it's curled that way. Also change the face, which I will change it later again. Yeah, at this point you might think that I'm wasting time like this. I am. <laughs> well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe yes, but it's not a bad thing because I want my bear to look like a bear. It doesn't make any sense, I know. But I want to convey the image of bear in my mind, the emotion of the bear itself to my final illustration because this is the final, which is I will trace using ink and uh, I rather ma make mistakes here than when I am using inks because the inks I can erase it like a pencil I change my lock again adding branches here and there because I want to make it more dynamic and more interesting to look at and of course I use my reference image of log, dead tree, etc and modified it to look nice on my illustration now I start drawing the foliage just some grass and maybe flower here and there As you can see, I changed my bear head once again. This is the last change, I think. Maybe. I start adding fur. And imagine if I were drawing with an ink. some grass and flower oh and because my client wants me to use a certain mountain in Germany so I search up a bit on Google to see what foliage they have there and use it in my illustration Here I'm drawing the flower based on my reference in my computer. 
adding some details more foliage also the trees so as you might notice I I'm not trying to make this a vinyl image like some refined drawing or something like that no the purpose of this pencil sketch is to help me when I'm rendering in inks the most important here is the shape is clear so I can easily uh, replicate it in my ink drawings after I finished I print it out again I scan it and print it out again by lowering the brightness and cranking up the contrast so I can trace it again using ink this is what I use when I'm inking I attach the paper using paper clips I just need three of this so I can rotate my paper without worries and that's it now we are ready to ink in part 4 thanks for watching please stay tuned and see you later